Hello, welcome to Robinson. As an international baccalaureate world school designated as a Microsoft Showcase School, we are excited and proud to share a glimpse of our technology infrastructure and the ongoing investment to ensure our educational programs are effective, whether on campus or virtually. Let me introduce you to our academic dean, Thomas Novak, as we invite you on a walk through our campus to learn more about our educational program and visit some of our faculty and staff who make teaching and learning meaningful and engaging. Thanks, Cindy. Welcome. We're grateful to have you here with us. At Robinson, we firmly believe that integrating technology into the teaching and learning process in purposeful ways is an important aspect of a 21st century academic program and helps our teachers design engaging, challenging, and equitable learning experiences and make connections with all students. Today you'll join me on our beautiful campus as we stop in some key places around campus and make sure that we have a full understanding of how technology supports the work that we do every day. Come on with me. Our first stop is at our IT office, the hub of education technology at Robinson School. From here, our IT team manages our local and cloud-based servers and learning technologies that support our school function each day. Microsoft Office 365, Canvas LMS, and other learning technologies are the foundation of what we do here at Robinson, all covered by a high-speed Wi-Fi network that covers 100% of our school campus. At Robinson, our commitment to a holistic education includes a comprehensive arts program. Let's stop in and meet MYP visual arts teacher Alexandra Santos and find out how she's using technology to develop her artist skills. Hello! So, besides the magical powers that the art gives me, technology has been one of the greatest allies that I use every day to teach my students. With it, I have been able to create very dynamic presentations that include text, images, videos, and even virtual experiences. I have been able to guide them through different museums all around the world and even caves, okay? Another important thing that I use every day is the virtual notebook, which gives me the opportunity to contact directly the students and give immediate feedback. It is a challenge, but we're making it happen. Our next stop is with Adrian Cruz, one of our upper school English teachers and member of our Pathways team. Let's find out about how Adrian is using technology to support students during guided learning activities in our virtual program. Hi, my name is Adrian, and I'm a high school English teacher. And today I just want to share with you different ways that I use technology in my class. So I really like to use Microsoft Teams, OneNote, and Canvas to teach my students important executive function skills, such as self-monitoring and organization of time and materials. So for instance, here with Canvas, I really like using this tool because it gives me an easy space to share information with both students and parents. As you can see here, you can see the recent announcements always on top of the page. You can also scroll down and see what unit we're on, what week, the weekly agenda, any important um, assignments. You can also see the class calendar, which doubles as an agenda for students. As for OneNote, this really is a space where students have all their class resources, all their assessments, all their work. So it's almost like a student portfolio where we can track their progress and it's really good for them because they can't lose their work. All their work is right here in one place. So that helps again with the organization skills. As for Teams, Teams is the place where we meet every single day. It's the place where we go over instructions, where we have group discussions, where we uh, talk about what's happening in class and where students can be in case they have any questions during class. Our education technology coordinator is a key to our success here at school. Let's stop in and meet Vilmari Torres to find out about her work in supporting technology integration at school, coaching our teachers, and exploring emerging technologies that help us transform the teaching and learning process. Come on in. 
welcome to the library. As librarian and education technology coordinator, I provide assistance to teachers and students in the selection and usage of information, communication, and educational tools for the creation and sharing of content. I collaborate with teachers to select the best apps that work for their activities in the classroom, and I also show them how to use these tools through group workshops, individualized instruction, and video tutorials that I create and share with them. I also help students to ensure that they're using the technology effectively to complete their assignments. Our next stop is with elementary school STEM coordinator and upper school mathematics teacher, Bradley Rivera. A part of his role at Robinson includes coaching our teachers in highly effective mathematics instruction using technology. Every classroom is equipped with an Epsom interactive projector, and each teacher receives a Microsoft Surface laptop, Surface pen, and microphone to support instruction to students, whether at home or here at school. Let's stop in and meet Bradley. Welcome. Let me show you how I use my technology hardware as instruments to engage my students in interactive learning experiences. I use my Surface laptop, projector, and Surface pen to present a digital whiteboard that allows me to share the notes with students in and outside the classroom, while my microphone provides high quality and clear audio for the students participating in our distance learning program. This way, the students can focus on understanding and doing mathematics. Our next stop is in second grade. In elementary school, Microsoft Teams is the key tool that helps our teachers engage with our students and keep that sense of community going that's such a value to our students and our school. Let's find out how Alice Rodriguez is using the tool to engage her students. Hi! Welcome to my classroom. I want to show you a few of the things that I do with my students to keep them engaged and to make sure we have an awesome community of learners. Check it out! During this time of teaching, it's been so hard and we've had to adjust using many other resources. The Teams has helped me stay connected with my students and has helped me provide them meaningful experiences almost like if they were in the classroom. But also having the opportunity to have a projector and these kinds of technology. So I think it's been amazing um, using these tools and the technology that is provided to us at Robinson School has made teaching much easier and meaningful in order to keep our community of learners amazing. So thank you for stopping by. You're welcome in my classroom anytime. I'll see you then. And on our last stop, let's not forget our youngest learners. Join me as we check in with our early childhood team to find out how they're using technology to support our students. Teams gives me the opportunity to engage in hands-on activities. It also provides the students a chance of feeling together and connected even though they are physically apart. An example is this interdisciplinary and multi-sensory hands-on activity. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our tour. We look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>